Alrighty, we got Big C versus Charizard. Here we go, baby. BHC versus MK is a classic. They actually had to play yesterday, and I went to take a shower and I came back, and all of a sudden it's 3 0 Richards. So I'm hoping we see something like that again because Richards, the homie, they'll in hit combo, baby. Uh, my phone. Eat my Alright. We got um, Final Destination uh, Stage 1. Cody opting for that again. It worked out for him all right against Fury earlier, so hoping uh, he, he at least he's hoping that it does the same right now. But I know I just saw, uh, I know yesterday Richard beat him in the last game on Final Destination. Richard attempted uh, attempts to slap the turn up and then poof into it so he can DI into the stage. Didn't work out. But now he's got the uh, guaranteed follow-ups. Gonna tie it up with this setup. Some more percent, and we're gonna have the. Uh, oh no! Easy down smash for Big C. Find out if uh, Richard uh, used up all of his energy yesterday. Uh oh. Richard taking second. Only losing to SK92 and Grandfather. I think he lost to Bacon and Winner. And then. No, I think he lost to Kyle twice. I think it was double a limb from SK92. Oh. Yeah, Cody's got the edge of two straight stocks from Big C in a matchup that's pretty difficult for Peach to do something like that. Alright, Cody quickly takes that stock back, does not have to take a turn up with him for the next stock. Nice dance dancing, dash dancing just outside the turn up, but Cody was covering that zone. So because Char kept dash dancing, um, he was able to, uh... Oh, that was a free grab, that was a super free grab. Up air, doesn't get the second up air combo. He's still a full stock behind, but he's got 47%. Nice approaches from Cody. He's been doing these uh, turn up mix ups to uh, getting his zoning on really well. He's utilizing turn ups a lot better than I'm used to seeing Cody utilize them. Nice call. Does the double jump cancel in there? The float cancel in there, baby. Yeah, this is a good game for Cody to do without two stick faces. Nice dash dancing from Richard. Easy follow. Is this a kill set up? I don't think so. Oh, wow, well, he got the needles, did not follow up with the grab. He might be getting a big chain now. 57%. 57% combo in a floating matchup is huge. Cody kind of choking on his, uh, his uh, defensive options, though. Richard just dash dancing around Cody's options and punishing him as soon as he does something. Some needle stock, some more needle stock. I don't know if every if every clink counts as a needle stock or not. Like, I don't know if it counts up to you clink and then like progressively over a short, short periods of time count all your needles. I feel like the first one doesn't actually charge them, I'm not sure. Free grab should be, and then support forward air. From the other side of the stage, he's not going to kill us. I wasn't really sure what that was. Well, Richard's basically brought this all back. He's done a 0-50 to 50 combo earlier in this game, so it's very possible for him to do it again. He's basically tied up. That would be incredibly demoralizing for Cody to have such a huge lead and then uh, lose it in the last stop here of the first game. It's a best of five, too, so it's a long set ahead of him. Counter pick a big factor when there's no bands. Wow, good space to the grab. Richard's basically tied it up. Cody's in trouble. He accidentally does the grab throw. Oh, he's gonna get the down throw this time. This is never. Richard's kind of missing his options here. And wow, yeah, that's gonna be it. I don't know if I'm here. Yeah, move the mic closer. The, the audio is really loud compared to my voice, though. This is like abnormal. The audio is way louder than my voice. Um, at least in my own headset. Alright, so Richard ended up uh, taking that first game. That's a 
kind of a big deal after how how long five those uh, first few stocks were for Cody to then drop the first game. That's a big moral hit. Oh wow, he really went for a big nair there. It didn't quite work out. Richard gets away from the down smash actually. Alright, keeps his patience, keeps his shield up. That was the opposite of keeping his patience though. He just like really went in for that back air. I don't like that. Cody was eventually going to throw an attack of some sort. Like you don't have to go first if you're on the bottom of the platform. Oh, nice mix up though. Oh god. Oh wow, nice pressure from Cody and then uh, Chart actually is able to back out and get around him. Oh, smash, counter attacks. Gets Cody up in the air. Cody gets back on the ground though. Needle setup gets a forward air out of it. His guard, no, not quite. Wow, another kill with a tipper up air. Char doing a pretty good job on the uh, recovering Invincible Peach. He's taking the lead into the second stock of this game. It took him uh, four whole stocks to get the lead on the final destination here. Okay. Gets a forward throw, probably an accident. Char's been doing a couple of accidental uh, throws. Oh, nice back air. <laughs> not, the best, not the best recovery though. Oh, good for it. Oh, does not get the grab bunny. She doesn't dash in for it. Oh, wow, yeah, Cody's kind of getting impatient. Seems like uh, Chart is just like waiting, waiting, letting Cody get a little impatient. Then he just counters Cody's basic. It's almost looking like curtains for Big C now. Oh, wow, yeah. No recovery there. Going on to game three, is this going to be another 3 0 from Chard versus Cody? Alright, Dreamland. It's kind of the uh, expected cycle stages you, uh, you see Peach go. Uh, Final Destination and then uh, Fountain of Dreams in the Dreamland. Trying every little option you can. He's gonna survive longer on this stage, and that was a big problem with like his first couple stocks on Fountain, is he was actually getting killed really early. Richard chooses to stock needles. I hate that he stocks needles right there actually. Cody was definitely gonna land on that platform. He could have uh, he could have waited to run in. Oh, goes for the turnaround mix-up, but then doesn't throw an attack. Crosses him up, comes up with the back air. Oh, oh yeah, he's sneaking under him just fine. Dreamland paying off though. Cody's uh, survived twice when he definitely should have been dead. Until the kill counter goes unpunished. Now Cody's got an advantage here. He gets pooped. Oh. So Char gets antsy and goes in. That's kind of when he seems to be getting hit. You see, no punish. No grab from Char. Goes back in. Alright, hard hit Nair is actually going to be the kill move. You don't usually see that burst Nair uh, kill from Chief. That's like Mario's kill move when he can't actually like land anything else. Is that burst Nair because like at least it's fast. Alright, gets the easy down smash. Gets a down tilt down smash. Oh, the needles would hit, I'm pretty sure. Go for it. Cody again, a little, a little angsty with that uh, up smash. Oh wow, good recovery from Cody. He didn't get cut off there. Charred looked like he was setting up needles and then uh, cut off at the bottom but Cody's basically been recovering for the last 15 seconds, so not looking great. Nice follow. Oh, doesn't quite get the next one. He tried to shield drop, but Freezer got punished attempting to shield drop there. Can he get back on stage? Yes, he is. Turn up. I don't know if Cody wanted to get a grab, but like he had to turn up so he couldn't. Yeah, that was probably the only thing he had time for. But Cody sneaks in a forward air there. Try trying to sneak his own back in. Oh, big tomahawk. Free kill. 
That wasn't even like that hard hit up air either. It's 180% though. Even on Dreamland. 180% slow. Point blank needles. Tomahawk grab. Air follow up. Lots of trades. Char gets a little excited though. You gotta be careful against Peach as soon as she gets her uh basically as soon as Peach gets her bearings back, you have to respect her counter. Because she had her, her like not not total counter, but like her options that she can do. Richard, no! When a cheat code go wrong, it's like when you enter a game genie code and you think it's like infinite lives, but it accidentally just teleports you to the last boss. And you're clearly not ready for it because you're using game genie. Uh, but uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, Peach, when she's on the ground, she gets her uh, and gets control again. She's got the down smash, which is incredibly punishing. Um, and then if she's in the air and she gets control again, she has a nair, which is a kill move at higher percent. It's a very good get away from the attack. There's the Mr. Saturn, Cody pulling special turnips all day. He's been doing good about pulling more turnips too, it's such a, such a strike. That's the thing is, like a lot of Peach players don't really notice. Um, they're like, oh man, Armada pulls so many good turnips. Like, yeah, but he pulls a ton of fucking turnips. Like, Armada's pulling turnips all the time. He, uh, Cody throws away a stitch face on accident. He just uh, treated it like a regular turnip because he pulled it to uh, immediately attack. Oh, it doesn't get the ladder. Yet. I like four thoughts in my head, I'm trying to say. Nice cutoff from Cody there. Read the recovery and intercept. Smash Brothers mainly. Oh, uh, for a jab instead of the straight grab. Trying to zone out Cody on that edge of the stage and push him back off. Uh -oh. Cody kind of struggling on his options to recover. Uh -oh. oh wow, big break down from Cody. Still gets hit. Gonna have to make nice needles. Oh, cuts him off with the corner. That's the set. 3 0 from Richard yet again.